Okay, so assignment number 53 is about onomatopoeia. And you probably heard the term onomatopoeia when you were in high school. Uh, but if you don't remember, it's a word that sounds like what it means. Um, and if you think about the word ring, for example, when you hear the word ring, one of the things that comes up, uh, or images that come up, is a bell. So ring would be shaped in such a way that maybe it looked like a bell, or maybe it was vibrating in some way, or something like that, that gave you a sense of what it means just by looking at it, even if you weren't already familiar with the term. So what you're doing with this assignment is related to the artist that's shown at the top of the page here, which who is Roy Lichtenstein. Uh, he was an, a really famous um, mid-century artist designer. Uh, he did these really huge canvases with um, art that was inspired by comic books. And one of the things that he did, again, also inspired by comic books, was sort of onomatopoetic text that was placed in such a way that it, you know, sounded or looked it looked like what it sounded like, or it looks like what it meant, or, or however you want to put that. Um, and that's what you're doing here. So there are three examples towards the bottom of the page that are somewhat examples of what you should do, and there's at least one example of what you shouldn't do. The word drip is our best example that we're working from here. So you're going to pick a word. You're not going to copy the words that are already here. You've got to pick something different, You're going to, but you're going to pick your word and you're going to make your word look like what it means. So in the case of drip, this one is very successful because they modified the letter forms. They didn't just randomly stick extra drips on there. These are parts of and extensions of the actual letter forms that are here. Uh, and as such, we look at it, we understand it, it's drippy, great, it works. Buzz works, but the B graphic on the left is unnecessary actually. We don't want extra stuff. We want, for this assignment, the word. You can modify the characters, the letters, in other words, all you need to. But don't add extra stuff. Um, because you should be able to convey what's going on without the extra stuff. And that's where the whoosh comes in. The letters, whoosh, the way they're laid out, don't actually look very whooshy. They look comic booky, but that's it. The tornado bit in the background is what makes this somewhat onomatopoetic, and that's what you're not going to do. You're not going to draw a word and then put something beside it that is the, the part that kind of explains it. You're going to actually modify the characters. So think about the word crack. If you were trying to take crack and make it look cracked, you would add cracks to the letter forms. Um, or if you looked um, thought about the word boom, what would you need to make it look boomy? Are the letters separating? Um, are pieces blowing off of them? Um, and, and that kind of thing. So I'm not going to give you more examples than that because I don't want to mess up your concept here. But just know that this is meant to take you some time. So it shouldn't look like you did it in about five minutes with a pencil uh, and that it was it's really rough. This should have some polish to it. It should fill a page of your drawing book. You should use not only pencil but also color pencil and marker potentially. Uh, this should look like a finished illustration version of whatever your word of choice is. And again, the biggest thing I can stress is finished looking and do not depend too much on extra graphics. You can add extra marks if you need to, as I did with Drip and Buzz. They, um, but again, not focusing on those extra graphics, but actually modifying the characters and the letter forms are the approach that you want to take here. Now, for anybody who wants to do this in Illustrator and has Illustrator on their computer, I'm okay with you doing this in there, but for the most part, try to approach this as a drawing assignment and really focus on drawing in those details and so forth. So even if you're doing it in Illustrator, I expect not just you typing in some text and two quick mods. I mean, it needs to have some, some time and some effort behind it. Um, and that is the plan for this particular assignment.